I want to show you how you can quickly schedule all your posts for social media using Postit. It's super, super easy. So let's just do it step by step. So the first thing you need to do is open your NA10 self-hosted instance. This is mine. You just need to go here over here settings. You need to click on community nodes, click install community node. You just need to write NA10 nodes posties. You click install. Let it load for a few seconds. And that's it. Now you have posties installed. So let's see how I can schedule posts. I'm going over here and I create a new workflow. Now, when you create a new workflow, you might want to schedule a post with image or video or just text. So let's start with just simple only texting. So I'm just clicking here on add first step and we'll do a trigger manually and then we'll add another node let's search for posties we can find it here and just schedule a post for posties so let's do something very simple we'll post it right now we'll add here a post of what you want to post here we need a channel id to get a channel id it's pretty simple you just go to your posties dashboard let's say i want to schedule for blue sky i'll just click here and copy the channel id and I can paste it here. Then I can go over here to content items and write what I want. Hello. So the only thing missing here is just to add a date. So I'll do it now. Doesn't matter because I'm also writing it here now. Just execute the step. We get a confirmation. We get the post ID and the integration ID. And then we can just get, go over to Blue Sky. And here is my schedule post. All right, we started with the easiest one. Let's take it up a notch. Now I also want to upload a picture to Blue Sky. How do I do that? Let's close this node, disconnect this here, and let's add another um, item called HTTP request. So we just want to load an image. Let me show you how I do that. Now, after we load, we loaded the uh, image with HTTP. Let's upload it to Posties. It must be uploaded to Posties before you can actually post this. This is very important because many platforms, they whitelist URL. This is why you can put your own URL when you want. So let's go to Posties and just click here on Upload File to Posties. Now we have an upload file here. We need to put the binary property. This is very important. You just need to understand once how you do it. And that's it. I'm going here over to expression. I'll just put here uh, double brackets and then click on HTTP request. And then I'll click on item. Then I'll click on binary. And that's it. Let's try to write to run it. Great. We have the ID, we have the name and we have the path. Now let's try to post it to Blue Sky. Now let's post it to Posties. So I'll connect this post it to my previous node of upload of creating a post in Posties. Just click on it twice. Here I have the content in the ID. Let's just add the Posties one dot item dot JSON dot ID. And in the path, we'll just do to the same thing here. We'll go over to expression and just add Posties dot item dot json dot id dot dot path so let's try to run this let's see what happens cool it says it's posted let's check blue sky and we have the picture that i selected great so now we are uploading pictures now what if we want more than one social media so we can do it in a few ways. We can either duplicate this one and put many. That's good for people that want it more arranged, but we can also just go over here, click on add post on the bottom. We'll add the other channel ID. So I'll just go to posties and let's do it with thread. So I'll just copy the channel ID, put it here, and then um, just add the content items. I'll just do hello as before and we'll just copy the id do add image here put the id put the path and post it so let's do execute step 
we'll get a ray of two items now. As you can see, we have two items. If we look at the JSON here, because it posts into two social medias, we can refresh the Blue Sky feed here. You will see the post. And when I go over to my threads also, let's refresh it here. And we have it also on threads. So let's delete this one. And we deleted the other one. All right. So let's take it up a notch. So this is the very simplest way that you can schedule to all of them. Some of the other platform require you to have more settings, for example, TikTok. So how can you get the settings and how you can you set them up? We have this flow. It's ready. I want now to schedule to TikTok. So I can click on create post. I want to delete the other ones. So I'll delete this and this. So let's just delete this channel, delete this channel, and I'll create a new post. Let's add TikTok. So I'm going here and we have our TikTok here. I'll just copy the channel ID. I'll put it here. So let's just execute the step. Let's just put some content item, just write some something. Um, and the, in the image, let's put the one that I had before. So I'll just go over here to expression. And let's execute. And now you will see an error. Okay. This is a very long error with all the things that are missing for our settings. So you can see here, we need to set a privacy level. We need to set um, duet, stitch, comment, uh, auto add music, brand content toggle. Like, there's a lot of stuff that I need to set. So let's go over, like we can just from this error, set all of them. Alternatively, we can use our wizard. It might be a lot faster for us. So let's see how we can do that. We're going here to the documentation of posties to the public API section. You will see here that I have here um, a generate an API request. And this is super useful because you can get 100% right. You don't have to guess stuff. So I put it to my TikTok. I write some message and I edit here some details. And then I start to put the TikTok settings that I want. So public to everybody, content posting method, post directly to TikTok, yes. Let's add music also, allow user to comment, not do it in Stitch, video made with AI, no. Disclose video content, no need. Requires me to, to add something, so let's just add a picture here. And I will just click create output. Okay, now you can see that I already have an output and here is my settings. This is all of my settings, so I can so I can just go ahead and start to copy each one of them. So I'll go to privacy level here, go here. We'll do here um, at settings and then put a key privacy level and then set it to string because this one is a string and then public to everyone. Next at settings. So the next key is content posting method. So we want direct post. Great. Next. We'll set here add music to yes. And then we have here comment and it's a Boolean. So we set it to true and we have here duet. And we'll set here this one to false. This is just false. We have stitch. We'll set it also as a Boolean to false. Then we have video made with AI, also false. And then disclose false. And brand organic toggle false. And brand content to go false. All right, that should work. Let's try it out. Let's send it. All right, we got the confirmation here. Let's go to our TikTok. 
and it is posted on our TikTok with all the settings what you just put. And you see also a little bit of music. So that's it. Super, super simple. Sunlight streams through the blinds. We have a few more things that you can see here that you can use with the API. So let's go over them. I'll just um, delete these steps as we don't need them. And let's see what Postis can do. So you can get list of all your posts. Just let's get the list of all the posts so you can start with the date that you want and you can end it with the date that you want. You don't have to add a customer. You can just execute the step and we get like a list of posts. Super easy. Next for the next one. We can generate videos with AI. So this is actually a very cool one. So let's say I say images, text to slide, and the format is vertical, and let's add some custom parameters. So I'll click here, and we have key and value. So let's see in the public API how this works. So all you need to do, slides of picture, the custom parameters are voice and prompt. So you need the voice of 11's lab. So how do I do that? I need another step. So let's click close this one. I'll just add here another node just to get the voice. We can do this, this one and then ex execute video related functions. We can go to video function. Let's see here in the documentation. So we want to get the, the voice. So we need to load voices here. And the identifier is image text slides. Let's execute this step. All right, we get like a lot of voices. So I'll just like randomly take some voice ID. Let's say Rachel. And then let's delete this node and create a new node for posties with the AI. So we can do generate video with AI. We can just add the custom parameters. So we know that one of the parameters is voice. And another one is prompt. So we can say we have just won a million dollar. What an amazing achievement. All right, let's just run it. That might take a while, so I'll just speed up the video here. Cool, let's see the video it generated. I'll just open it here. Just won a million dollars. This is truly an incredible achievement. Reaching this milestone is the result of hard work, dedication, and teamwork. Let's celebrate this success and look forward to even greater opportunities ahead. Pretty nice. It already comes with the ID and the path and name, so you can just schedule this with posties. The other one is that we have right now with VO3. Same process, just follow the docs. I hope this was helpful and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions.